Welcome to another Blender tutorial. Today we're going to look at making a lava lamp. This is going to be done in parts. So this is part one. We're going to start from scratch. So we need to delete the cube. Press X. We're going to start off with adding a mesh circle. And hit tab to go into edit mode. We'll go into ortho. We'll go into side view. And we'll shift that down a bit. Okay, we're gonna extrude. And if you hold control, you will go up and down by grid points. And hit space. We'll extrude again. And hit space. Extrude again. And extrude again. And one last time. Press Z to turn off shading. That way we can select points easier. So we'll start with the middle. Press A to deselect points. Press B to do rectangular select. And we'll just make the top a little bit narrower. And if you press control when you're scaling, you can make the radii line up. Okay, so that completes the base. Now we're gonna add a NURB mesh. NURBs give you a way to make smooth shapes. I personally prefer not to use NURBs because the control point on the NURBs don't actually line up with the actual shape, but we'll see in a minute. Go back to object mode, deselect everything, and add a NURB circle. Okay, and let's move this up. And now we duplicate this nerve circle. Move that up. We duplicate this a few times. If control is giving you big units, you can press shift to get smaller units. So notice now I'm moving in smaller grid units. And hit space when you're done. The next step is we need to join up all these nerve circles. Press shift and right click on the nerve circles. Now, to make a surface, we go into edit mode, and all the vertices are selected. So we just press the F key to add a face. And let's go into side view again, and press A to deselect all the vertices, and we'll press B. We'll scale some of these vertices. Press A to deselect and press S to scale and use the control key so that you get grid points selected. Okay, and right now the nerve surface doesn't line up with the base, so we need to scale it differently. Still doesn't quite line up. So that looks like it lines up fairly well, so we'll continue to edit. Okay, there's points selected, multiple points selected, so we need to deselect and select the box again, because you can see that there's orange dot there, black dot, orange dot. So we'll press A, B, select this one, S, and taper. Press A, B, S, and control to taper. And press tab to see what the shape looks like. That's not too bad. I think the lava lamp needs to be a little bit thicker in the middle. So let's press tab, A, B, select, S, taper, 
And let's just make it a little bit wider. And that looks fairly decent, so we'll leave it like that. Next, we'll need to add a top to this lava lamp. So we'll deselect all, add another mesh circle, and we'll drag this up. A little overlap is fine. And we'll need to size this. That looks okay. Again, we'll go into edit mode. We'll extrude this a little bit. Extrude a little bit more. Extrude another time. And one more time. Okay, and now we can begin tapering. Press A to deselect. Press B for rectangular select. Press S to scale. Use the control key again if you like. And for the last bit, we need to merge this. So we'll merge at center, and that completes the top. So if we do a quick render, we'll just see what it looks like. And we need to add a empty, so the camera can focus on something. So add, need to go back into object mode, deselect everything, add, empty, plane axes. And let's just verify where the coordinates are. We want X and Y to be zero. Select the camera, shift click on empty and then control T, but you need to be inside the view window, track to constraint, and render again. Okay, so the glass surface is smooth, the base and the top are not smooth. So what we need to do is select the top, and select smooth shading, select the base, Select Smooth Shading and Render. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's just set up the transparency for the lava lamp. So we'll add a new material. And we want transparency. And we want ray tracing. So set the Fresnel up fairly high. We want a little bit of refraction. So the Fresnel is for how much transparency there is, and we want a little bit of refraction. So let's render that. And you can see that this is transparent. Name the pieces. So this is the base. This is the top. This is the glass. Let's just turn off the glass for a moment. And we'll turn shading back on. And we can see that there's no Let's select the base. We'll add a material for this. And we just want it to have a color. I want a blue lava lamp. I don't want there to be much specular. Okay, and for the top of the lamp, 
We'll just select the blue. And we'll add one more thing. Press A and add mesh. We'll add a plane. Let's make this 10. And we want the plane to be at zero, zero, zero. A gray plane doesn't look very good, so we'll add a texture for this. We need a material first. And we'll use an image texture. And let's go with the wooden floor. Well, it looks pretty good. The only thing is we need to adjust the camera. Press N to get rid of the transform window. We'll go from overhead view. And we'll just move the camera back a little bit further. And what I'd like to do is go in the side view and raise the camera a bit so it's looking down on the lava lamp. Okay, that's a better view. We can see the floor through the lamp. And what this needs is another light. So let's go into overhead view again. Let's just pull the light back a little bit. And shift D to duplicate, and we'll put the light on the other side. So the shadows don't look so harsh. And we'll just call this Lava Lamp, part one. And that completes the first part of this lesson.